Hey, hey guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, and today we are back with a brand new simulator that's coming your way this month, and we're going to be taking a first look at it. It is, of course, Plain Mechanic Simulator. Now, it's the first of two uh, simulators that will be headed your way this month that will have to do with a war theme. Uh, the first that was supposed to be out last week was Tank Mechanic Simulator, uh, but it, it didn't pass quality assurance. It had a few bugs in it that needed to be worked out. So uh, in a few weeks, that one will be coming out. We actually had a chance to play it last week in our live streams over on Twitch, which if you haven't been coming over, I'm live every afternoon around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Anyways, we played a little tank mechanic. It seems like a cool little game. Um, we're interested to see what plane mechanics going to be all, all about, though. Uh, I've played that little, uh, what was it, Squadron 303 or something like that, uh, that had a little bit of you were supposed to be able to work on planes, and the mechanics in it were kind of weak. Um, but from what I understand, this is supposed to be more of a car mechanic type situation where you're actually pulling all the parts off the engines and working on them. Whereas the other one was basically you were just swapping out a few parts and and that was it. So this should be pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, this is a, a free copy of the game that was given me by Playway so I could evaluate it. But the game will be out on February the 7th on Steam. It'll be early access. Starts with three planes that you'll be able to work on. Uh, you're going to have the Supermarine Spitfire MK1, which, you know, is like the, you know, legendary plane from world war ii uh the de havilland tiger moth and the de havilland mosquito those will be the three planes that come out when you get the game on uh february the 7th however the game will evolve and have more planes added to it over time including planes from other eras so uh while it will be in early access when it starts out and it might be a little limited on what's in it it looks like they've got plans to really scale this thing up but it will come out with 81 missions and some 800 parts for you to tweak on. So it seems like uh, it seems like there's a lot of depth to it. So anyways, enough talking about the game. Let's actually play a little bit. I had started up an account earlier so I could get some levels for audio and everything. Uh, but I haven't really done anything. So we're going to start a new game. Just so you see the steps involved. Uh, name, of course, is going to be Moose. No, not Moop. Moose. Uh, you got expert mode, or you can just play in the standard normal mode. The only difference is with expert mode, uh, from what I read, the parts will be hidden. You won't like get any hints as to like what you're supposed to do next. For me, since I don't know that much about aircraft mechanics, I'm going to leave it in normal mode. Uh, if you want to play in expert mode, feel, feel free to. Uh, it's going to be just enough of a challenge for me to figure things out because... I really don't know anything about aircraft mechanics. I can build a car in my sleep, but I can't uh, I can't even begin to know what's what with a plane. So May 12th, 1940, number one, service flying training school. Let's get going. Welcome to RAF Netherland. Netherland. I don't know. I'm not from Britain, um, but get back over here. There's a lot of work to do, so let's get straight to it. You can see your notebook that the pilot mentioned power variations in the engine. This looks like a problem with the fuel system. Let's get started by opening the right engine cowling. Thanks for telling me that, because I wouldn't know where to get started. All right, so that's a nice little tip there. Uh, you see our notebook here. We've got the task. It tells us the plane, the serial number on it, order numbers at the top, the pilot, the pilot's notes. At about 15 minutes after takeoff, the engine starter randomly losing power. That doesn't sound right. Maybe that's supposed to be started. Little typo there. Yeah. Yeah, that reads a lot better. After about 15 minutes uh, after takeoff, the engine started randomly losing power. Had to turn back and land. After fixing this, please refuel the aircraft for the next flight tomorrow. All right, so we got to fix the engine power. And refuel the aircraft cool so we've got task inventory controls which are pretty standard controls wsd to move around run with the shift crouch with the c crawl with the z zoom with the f and then disassemble assemble uh, pretty much like car mechanic one two three to inspect and, and go into your different modes all right uh video controls i'm playing on high and then audio settings, you can adjust them however. I turn the music way down. I turn the master down a little bit so the sound effects weren't so loud. All right. 
So we start off here. We're at the airfield. Pretty cool. They got all the little blimps up there with the uh, the wired tension wires. Those, if you didn't know history, those were put up to keep enemy aircraft from strafing the airfield. They would rip their wings off if they hit them, which was a pretty cool little thing to do. Uh, we got a ladder here that we can interact with. Uh, this is a oil bowser. Oh, British terms. Uh, fuel truck. What else we got? We got our plane here. Pretty cool. Let's just kind of look around. This is replacement parts. Got a jack. That's cool. Uh, that's not interactable. That is interactable. This must be our workbench. Uh, toolbox. Nope. No toolbox. Nope. And I guess some little stools here. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. All right. So it's a go to the right side of the plane. Can you get in the planes? I'm just curious. Nope. No interaction with the plane at all. Yeah, after all, we're a mechanic. We're not a we're not a pilot. All right, so right click on the engine. Oh, there's some planes going by. Cool. That's pretty sharp. All right, removing parts. Wait, come back to me, Tip. Come, come, come back to me, Tip. Tip, come back to me. There, come back to me. Okay, so you mouse over it. Don't click on it. If you click on it, it goes away. When moving parts, you can rotate the camera and movement keys, scrolling the mouse wheel. Damn you, Tip. You should have stayed up there longer. I hate you. I don't know what that said, but anyways, let's find the damaged parts. Switch to inspection mode three. Uh, check the status of parts. Click and hold for about a second. Uh, all right. Oh, it's that old car mechanic camera thing. All right. Fuel filter. Is that the problem? No. Trace the fuel line to the carburetor. Look at there. I think that's our problem. Now let's remove the damaged carburetor. First, press F1 to switch to disassembly mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now remove the part. Notice that you first need to remove the air intake pipe. Okay. All right. Let's zoom in here on these little things. Wrench, 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 wrench. Oh, you don't actually wrench. It just takes them off for you. Oh. That's kind of... Some people are going to like that. Some people aren't. Some people like the whole doing each and every little nut and bolt. Uh, okay. So carburetor... So let's take these out. I do like the way they're like spinning. That's kind of cool. So they got the whole animation going at least for them. And it, I don't know how I feel about that. Some parts can be repaired on the spot while others need to be replaced. Go to the workbench, press space to begin repairing the damaged carburetor. Uh, okay. God, I, I make this mistake all the time in these games. I want to hit escape to get rid of like little things like this. Um, yeah. All right. So here's our workbench. Part maintenance. Hit the space bar to interact with it. Carburetor. So we select it. By repairing parts, you'll save spare ones, which will contribute to your overall score. This term will help you get promoted sooner. Okay. Uh, to start repairing, click on one of the yellow points, press and hold the left mouse button to begin applying oil. The goal is to... I can't read that fast! Mm. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, the goal is to release the button in the oil level is when the green zone. Oh, sounds like a mini game. You can rotate the part with the movement key. Complete the repair. You need three out of four hits. Completing all four will restore the part when pristine. I hate mini games. I really do. They get old. They get old quick. And I suck at them usually. All right, so we got to click on the little yellow dot. And then we got to hold and release so that we release in the green. Oh, I'm going to fail on this. <laughs> I got it. 
Ah, what, I got 33% done? Nice. Where's the next... Where's the next yellow dot? There's a yellow dot. Oh, God, the target's even smaller. Oh, Lord. Concentrate, concentrate. Oh, I got it! Oh, I, I might be able to repair this. Oh, I would really rather take it apart, though, to be honest with you. I'd rather take it apart and re put all the parts together than play this stupid mini game. Oh, jeez. Good lord. Up, oh, failed. I'm screwed. Oh, God. Oh, I got it! Part restored. <laughs> Who said I suck at this? I don't. Good. Now switch to the install mode, put the carburetor, and then take pipe back into the engine, then close the cowling. I just thought I sucked at it. I'm actually really good. Task complete. Fix the problem with the power. Engine power. Cool. I wonder if we don't put this back on if uh, we complete the game. Poor pilot. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't get any air into the carburetor. I'm not saying that right if this is a British game. I, I keep saying carburetor and everybody knows if you're British, you pronounce it completely different. It's a carburetor. Uh, anyway, so that's done. What was the other thing we do? We had to refill it. Now let's refill the aircraft, the fuel tank. The Tiger Moth is, be uh, oh, is between the top where you need a ladder to access it. Okay, so we gotta get to the ladder. Take the ladder. Put the ladder down near the front of the aircraft. Remove the fuel top. So it's a disassembly mode. All right, so put the, um, uh, all right, so when it, I guess when it turns white, I can put it down. Climb the ladder, hit the space bar. And then we gotta disassemble and take the fuel cap off. I nailed it, got it. Now grab the fuel hose from the Bowser, insert it into the tank, then get back to the Bowser controls and turn the valve. Okay. Uh, pick up the hose. There we go. Uh, climb the ladder with space bar again. Insert the hose with the space bar. All right, a lot of cool little animations. So we come over here to the Bowser control, hit space bar. Um, right, so how do we fill this up? Rotate knob. Oh, you rotate the knob. Well, that's pretty cool. So if you hold the left mouse button down, you can actually rotate the knob. That's pretty neat. Uh, all is left is put the hose up and close the fuel inlet. All right. Oh, I picked the ladder up. Put it back in place. Climb the ladder. Well, it's, that's awkward that space does both picks the ladder up and tells you to climb it. A um, little cumbersome there. Cool. Wait. Oh, that's neat. The truck leaves after you refill. Sweet. It's pretty cool animations. What are the guys over here doing? Are there? I hear them talking over there. Uh, anyways, we gotta put this in here. Good, now open the notebook and the task page, sign it, and end the mission. In fact, you can end the mission at any time, provided you installed all the parts. Keep in mind, though, that not finishing before the tip slides away will, do you know, just be frustrating. And not finishing the task will have consequences, some of them severe. All right. All right, so we're finished. So we go to task, right? Task. There we go. And there's a, okay. The tip either goes away or it stays too long. Come on now. Uh, is there like a button to click? Sign here to complete the assignment. Um, oh wow, you actually got a sign? Moose. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so fix the problem with the engine. We refilled the aircraft and we saved a spare part. So we got a point for that. 
and we're moving up. We gotta get 500 points to get to airman first class. Holy cow, that's gonna take a while. Maybe other tasks are worth more points. All right, so anyways, so we got our first one done. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad. I will say the mechanics on it are better than tank mechanic simulator. Tank mechanic, not enough detail in it. I'll just say that much. It's more like tank restoration, but anyways, that's another game we'll talk about later on. As you can see, the pilot has asked you to replace the wheels. To do this, first you need to raise the front of the aircraft. Go ahead, pick up the front jack. All right. So, command is fully ordered. A new set of wheels for each aircraft. Please replace them in mine. All right, Mark. This is, we got the same pilot. We must be working for the same dude. We're Commander Mark's, uh, you know, main, main guy. All right, so the jack was over here. Pick up. And where does it... Oh, it's got a little highlighted area to show where it goes. Place it between the main wheels and turn the lever with your mouse lifted up. All right. Oh, you actually got to move the mouse in a clockwise motion to raise that thing up. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, you hold the left mouse button and roll it around in a circle. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Once you get to the plane, though, it don't want to move. Oh, wow. It really now removed the left wheel. Hang on. I don't think I really jacked this thing up that much. When it when it hits the plane, it comes to us. It's tough to push it up. Like you got to do like I was doing little circles to raise it up. But when it hit the plane, I got to like push my mouse halfway across the, the table. Wow. That's interesting. All right. So we're no. going to remove the wheel. What? No. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> the little dude saying no. 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 No, sir. Oh, he's getting pissed at me too. No. 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 Can we get really piss him off? No. 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 No, sir. Nope. No. 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 No, sir. No. No. In a minute, he's just going to insult me if I keep doing this. <laughs> That's different. So it doesn't have the little bonk when you do the wrong thing. It just has a dude saying no. So, and no. it, I guess it's highlighting red, so I need to take this off first. So we take the hubcap off. And wait for all the uh, the bolts to come off. Yeah, I don't know if I'm I'm in love with that. Uh, is there like a Carter pin to take out of this nut? Didn't look like it. New, nope. just take out the nut. All right, so that was done, and then we got to go over here and get this one done. No. Ah, sorry, dude. Don't mean to piss you off. No. No. I need to record that. I need that for the live streams. All right. To replace this part, go to the truck, refill or fill the replacement form. Don't forget to sign it. Oh, we get a sign again. Great. All right. Well, let's get out from underneath here. All right. So short little line. The form stays up here forever. A paragraph or two and it stays up there for a nanosecond. All right, so we need to replace the wheels. Uh, cost two, two resource points. Sign here to confirm. I wonder if I can like draw a little moose with a grin. Come back up here, put some eyeballs in. Yeah, put some antlers on it. There we go. They know who ordered those parts, don't they? Ah, uh, good. Now put the wheels back in and complete the rest of the alignment. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Nailed it. Put the wheel in. Put the wheel cap on. It's calling it a hub cap. It's a wheel cap. Somebody's already like in chat right now going, you called it a hub cap. It's not a hub cap. They're... Yeah, man, I do this a lot in car mechanic games. I hit the escape key thinking that'll get me out of a, a mode, and instead I'm supposed to hit the right button, right mouse button. Take it, 
All right, so that's all of that done. All right, so let's take the jack out. So we go counter. Oh, wow, this is like really difficult to unjack. I, I'm, I'm literally taking. Oh, now I'm back to baby, baby stuff. So like, you know, when it's when there's no tension on it, I can like do just roll the mouse with my just little teeny tiny circles. This little Bob Ross, little tiny, friendly, happy circles. But when you get to this point, you you literally I literally have to shove the mouse all the way across the table uh, to be I mean, big, huge, broad circles to be able to get this thing to 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 jack. Interesting. All right, so pull that out of there. I don't know if I actually have to do this stuff, but I feel like I ought to return it back to its home. Wait a minute. It doesn't want to return back to its home. Um, oh, yeah, we got to refuel this thing. So where's the ladder? There's the ladder. Have the ladder. Um, where do we put this again? Where's that? There. Oh, there, there we go. Climb the ladder. And then we're going to take the fuel cap out. Yep, that's done. Now we got to go get the... Wait, let me off the ladder. Oh, there goes the planes again. Pick up the hose. Pull the hose. Go up the ladder. Without picking up the ladder, put the hose into the hole spot. Go turn on the hose. Click the space bar. Oh, this thing was out, almost out. All right, so, oh, whoa, 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 you open that up too much and it'll, it'll get everywhere. All right, so, yeah, so you hold your left mouse button, you push to the, to the right, and it'll open up the valve and go back the other way and it closes it. That's pretty nifty. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's better than just click, click, click. Oh, look, I almost hit space and it says take ladder. Oh, so depending on how you look at this is what action it takes. I really think you ought to have two just distinctly different things. Like left click ought to pick up the ladder and space bar ought to climb. But I can tell I'm going to make that mistake several times and end up picking the ladder up. Oh, let's watch the truck leave again. Bye. See you later. Don't get shot by the Germans. Stay safe. See you at the pub in a little while. There we go. Right? I think we're done. Let's look at our notebook. Replace the wheels. Refuel the aircraft. We're done. Pay me. Um. Mm -hmm. Your little eyeballs. Doom. Come back up. Put better horns on this time. There we go. Anyways. <laughs> That's it. Sure. <laughs> hey, let's do one more. Let's see what the next mission is. I don't want to make these videos too long, but I do like playing these things and giving you guys a, a good idea. Remember, if you enjoy this, make sure you put the comment down the, in the comments down below. Hit the like button. If you want to see more videos on this, definitely make sure you let me know. Uh, this time you have to refill the aircraft with new oil. This works just like refueling, but you'll need to pull the oil bowser closer to the aircraft yourself. The oil inlet is behind the left cowling. Thanks for letting me know that. According to the log, it's time for oil replacement. The tank was already emptied, so all you need to do is fill it up. Well, that's good. So we don't have to drain the oil. We just have to put the oil in. And they say it was under the left side of the motor. Uh, that would be right here. Oil cap. Nice. So I'm guessing that's the entire oil reservoir there. So, like I said, I don't know anything about aircraft, how they're laid out and everything. I mean, I've done flights some stuff, but as far as what's under the hood, I'm kind of an idiot on it. Two, two, two. All right. So, we're dragging, dragging, dragging the old thing. Yeah, I think we're close enough. All right. Hose, hose, hose. There's the hose. 
put the hose into the hole. All right. Remember that filling the hole above the max point may result in damage on some parts. All right. So do we have to pump this thing? It's just like manual pumping. All right. So there's our thing. Min line, max line. So was this like pump, pump, pump? Oh, no. It's just turn it. Oh, okay. So like the further you go, the faster it goes up. I gotcha. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting to the min line. I think that's good. Halfway, right? Half, half, half and half. All right, we refilled the oil. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's get the hose out and return it back. Uh, there we go. And then we need to go to assembly mode, put the cap back in. There we go. Close that. Turn that. Turn that. Excellent. I guess we need to... I don't know if we had to put this stuff back up every time or not, but I'm going to go ahead and walk it over here. i got to get the ladder anyways, don't I? Because we got to do fuel. And that would have been in the way of my mega ladder here, so... And these guys next door are really loud. Are they over... There's nobody over there, but they're making a huge racket, aren't they? Wow. They must be in one more over, and I just can't see them. They are loud. Take the ladder. Come on, take the ladder. All right, so uh, where's it? Turn white. Turns white there. Right there. If you're looking down, it doesn't want to place the ladder. You got to look up a little bit to get it to place. Find the ladder. Uh, let's take the cap off again. Can I get out of here while that's unscrewing? I can. I can save a little time. Uh, grab the hose. Let's see if we can do a speed run here. Climb the ladder. Put it in there. Get off the ladder. Get over here. Come in here. Turn this on. Oh, yeah. We're... we're oh, we don't want to overfill. All right. There we go. Now, let's run. Let's get up the ladder. Let's get the hose. Let's get off the ladder. Let's put this up. There we go. Let's see, oh, crap. Picked up, the, picked up the ladder again. Shh. Don't anybody see that? Nobody saw that. I was going to try and get all this done before he got drove away. But I'm done. Ah, cha -cha -cha. Complete. Take the ladder. Put the ladder back over here. I think we're done. Yes. All right. Let's sign this. Winston. Oh, forgot to. I was going to make it Winston Churchill, but eh. anyways. All right. Points are coming up. We've done three jobs. We have 136 points of 500. It's going to take a little while for us to get to airman first class. What's our time? We got time for one more. That only took a couple of minutes. So let's do one more mission. Refill the oil. Fix the problem with the oil system. Refill the aircraft. Ah, so things are getting a little more technical here. Seems to be something wrong with the new oil. The pressure is jumping all over the place. I've arranged for the oil to be checked and the tank to be cleaned again. Refill it and find the cause of the problem. Oil doesn't cause a problem. There's the problem with the system. So, all right. Anyways, so let's go check this out. So first things first, we got to put oil in it. So let's grab this guy. Here we go. You notice you like walk really slow when you're pulling this thing. So that's a nice little touch. And we'll drop that right there. Go ahead and open up our engine cowling. And so it said put the oil in first. So just in case things are linked, I want to go ahead and follow the directions. To me, I think I would look for the problem, but I guess you'd have to have oil to look for it. All right, so that's in there. Uh, we're going to go back in here. We got to warp drive this, fill up some oil into it. And just as we get to the top, we'll just brim it off. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's good. That's, that's optimal. I like that. I'm good with that. All right, pull the hose out. Put the hose back on there. Pick this guy back up. There we go. 
Push it over here. And there we go. All right, back over here. All right, so now we got to find what's wrong with the old. Oh, well, you need to put the old cap on. Now that that's done, we can go into diagnosis mode. Zoom in here. All right, so we got this copper line is going. That must be the return line from the engine. So that would be that. Uh, and there's this rubber line going up. And that goes to an oil filter. Huh? Oh, there's a problem. And a pressure filter. There's a problem there. And timing gears. That looks good. Magneto has nothing to do with oil. That line's not inspectable. So I think the problem are those two parts right there. I don't see anything else um, that would have anything to do with it. Let's go over to the other side um, and check on the other side and see if there's anything over here that could have to do with it. Be pretty thorough in our investigation here. Uh, so we got, what is this? Right magneto there, fuel filter there. Fuel filter's not gonna have anything to do with oil pressure nose. So, uh, looks like uh, those are ignition wires. They were pretty fat for ignition wires. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so I think it's these two parts, so we gotta take those out. No. No. Right, so it showed me. No. Okay, so we gotta take the engine cowling off in order to get that. We'll take that off. We gotta go around the other side. Take that one off. Can we do it now? No. No. Oh, I gotta take the top off. All right. Gotcha. Any more? All right. Yes. Ah, yes. All right. So we got an old filter here, and then we got to take the pressure do hiccup and jigger off of here. I guess we go over to the repair bench now and see if we can repair these. All right. So parts. All right. So let's start with the oil filter. Oh, it's a dreaded mini game again. All right. Wish me luck, everybody. Oh, there's one. I almost missed it. I was real close to going too far. Oh, that's two. Oh, man. And I said I suck at this. I'm getting cocky now. Oh, oh it's going to come down to the fourth one. Will Moose survive this round? Oh, yeah, baby. You got it. <laughs> I'm feeling good about myself now. I'm getting a little cocky. Let's do this. I got this. Oh, bang. Nailed it. Oh, I sucked. Oh, nailed it. I was a little long on it, but... Oh. Dad, come it. Well, you know, I got one part. You can't get them all. So, yeah. Uh, I don't get a retry on that. So, uh, parts truck? Pressure filter. Cost us a resource point. Um, there we go. I don't know. A sign for Matthew. I don't know who he is. I was just signing anybody's name now. Man, nobody cares. It's not like they're checking. I used to like sign George W. Bush's name all the time on my credit card statements. Like I'd buy stuff on a credit card. Can you sign here, please? I'd put George W. Bush. Nobody ever reads that stuff. All right. These days I'd be putting Trump. Then I'd be under investigation, so. 
All right. So we'll put the cowling back on. Slide that in there. Close that up. Put that on. Put that on. All right. And we'll put that in. Close that. Put that on. Put that on. Good to go. Got to put some fuel back in it. So let's get the ladder. Yeah. I see. I run over there and I click the left button. I really think left button ought to be interaction to pick up the. Uh, you got to look up to get it to place the ladder. Ding. Climb the ladder. Pull the cap off. All that's unscrew them. We'll go get the fuel hose. Put that in there. We'll run down here. Oh, I got this now. I'm like super, super Johnny on the spot on this. Huh. Huh? Ah, there we go. I shut that off so we don't get a fuel leak. On the ladder. No, not pick up the ladder. Ah, oh, man. That ladder's going to be my, my nemesis in this whole thing. All right. So let's get up and get the cap on before... He, oh crap, I picked the ladder again. Ugh, I wanted to get the cap in before the truck pulled away. I suck at this. All right. Well, I guess it's better to do it slow and steady so no mistakes are made. No, no pilots were killed in the actual filming of this video today. All right, so that job is done. And the aircraft is refueled, so we're good to go. We get to sign again. Who should we sign this time? Uh, how about this? Just suck it. Uh, Hitler. There. There we go. You gotta have fun with it, right? All right. So, yeah. So we got 186 points. Um, and as much as I want to continue on, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, we will, uh, we will continue our career here. Uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you put some comments down below, uh, and click that like button. Tell me you want some more videos on this to see how it goes. Um, uh, because there are 81 missions, as I said, and we've only done just a handful of them. So we can exit out of this. Uh, we got to click some more. Oh, we signed some more stuff. Oh, man, I got to come up with some, some you know, God save the queen or something. I got to come up with some more stuff to, to, to write in these. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, I am Moose. And um, again, if you want to see some more of this, leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I'm going to try to get back into doing videos. I've just been really enjoying the live stream stuff over on Twitch, which, selfless plug, I stream every afternoon, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time over on Twitch. Come join me over there. We have a lot of fun. We primarily play farm sim. Uh, just about every day we play farm sim, but I do switch it up and play some other games uh, here and there. So come over and join us and uh, hang out. We have a lot of fun. I do some really crazy little uh, songs for people who do... Uh, who donate to the channel and they're they're really silly songs and they're a lot of fun but um we have a good time so come join us over there that's where we live stream at and uh I, like i said i do it every single day so uh unless life gets in the way but anyways that's it for today like i said i hope to get some more videos out for you guys in the near future so uh, again uh have a great day god bless you all and we'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>